So this is the 14 inch reef base. And this is the greenery we're going to start off with, okay? So let's break it down and start shaping out our base. All right, that's gonna be our first step. I like this, this is like a no brainer because it's got a berry, it's got a gorgeous like hydrangea leaf in here. It's got like a little bit of a hydrangea, kind of like a little pop of it, but it's got these beautiful berries. So we're gonna use this kind of like our greenery, like our main greenery in it. And then we will kind of move on to putting the florals in. Okay, so far I'm just cutting these into two sections. Kind of got the thicker section and then the uh, thinner section. Uh, they're real nice, they're wired up really pretty. So you're gonna have one piece that has the larger leaves and the chunkier berries, and then one piece that has the smaller ones. And let's kind of get our spacing out. We're gonna make our bow in a second together, but I'm thinking, let's look at our wreath here. This is kind of the wonky part of the wreath. So I probably wanna work on this side. I generally design on this side anyway, so that's gonna work fine. So I'm gonna put this one in kind of going up. And let's get it started. Kind of up and over. And take a little Spanish moss. I use the Spanish moss guys to cover my glue, but it also functions as a way to hold it in place. So if you ever see me using it, that's what I'm doing. I'm putting glue on this one too. We're gonna come down over here and work it in here. Try to make sure I get through a couple of layers, guys. Make sure we got a lot holding it in place. All right. Okay, let's put this one a little bit lower right here and kind of have it come down. Now in design school, I call this shaking hands. You can see I'm taking my time to spread that piece out. So that's the difference when you work with quality pieces. You, you can use a heck of a lot less because you're working with really good quality pieces. All right, let's put this one in a little lower and then we can kind of control where the berries are gonna go when we're ready. Okay, I'm fluffing this one too, shaking hands. I love that every little section is wired. You guys have been buying the tar out of the kits lately. And something we've implemented recently, guys, when you do get a kit, we are, we know you have trouble finding the video later. So we've started to um, make sure that we put a sheet in there that has the QR code to the kit link. I'm telling you, we're getting, we're learning. We are learning. <laughs> I am live in design school every week, so don't miss us there. Got a good shape going. Now, I'm making this where it's gonna hang like this, guys, but you could you could change that up. You could do all kind of things with your base. That was our first item, so I'm gonna put the twig filler flower in. They call it hot pink. The reason I'm gonna bring this one in is because of the beautiful colors that are in the butterfly that I'm gonna use, okay? So you can see here why I'm gonna do that. Now, I always say this bush is super plasticky, but it's so cool because it works like the neatest twig. So I want to get a few pieces in. I think we'll put in um, four, and then we'll save four for after, uh, more towards the foreground. We'll get these in first. Guys, I'm trimming these down just a little so I can have them kind of popping in a little pink out towards the, out towards the, really out on the perimeter of the design on this one. Okay, I'm gonna put the pink kind of coming out here. So you can see I'm kind of going on either side of the purple stem I'm putting in, just popping that in. All right, we've got two on each side right here. Now let's let's get a little more to the center and we might be, need these a little shorter. I love these because they're super long, uh, which makes them great to reach out like a twig. We might need a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm trimming these down and I'm gonna make a little cluster. So take a big one and a short one, make them a little smaller. And then I'm gonna put these in a little bit more towards what we call, this will be what we call the bow zone. In design school, I'm always talking about, you know, this is our area we leave open for the bow. And uh, that's what we're doing right now. If you don't love ribbon, you can do other things, but I have the perfect ribbon combo for this uh, collection here you're about to see. I can't wait to do that. We'll probably do the bow in a minute. Okay, and these are super cool because they're super wired. You can pop them forward. You want to have a lot of dimension. So you can see it's kind of coming together. I'm going to turn it towards you guys so you can kind of see. All right. Um, before we do the bow, I'm ready to come in with the other filler flower. So we're going to hold off on these two because I'll probably want to use these 
layer it up a little because right now we've got them just in the background and then we're going to bring a little bit more in the foreground so when you're making your designs you have to think about that too like i don't want everything to just be in in our design today we want it to kind of feel like it's a garden you know this is one of my favorite fillers we've been just rocking this out in every color and this is the lavender version so i'm trimming these all down that bush tears up real easy tonight it's purples and lavenders wait till you see the ribbon it's juicy yes you guys are going to want to get in design school if you can if you haven't been in our class you want to grab a spot because that is where i'm live every week interacting with my class answering any questions they have i'm available to them and of course i'm in business coaching every week too helping other wreath makers grow their business and uh it is absolutely a blast to help them and see them grow it is awesome Okay, I'm just popping these around there. Oh my gosh, yep. Bingo, you can see already how it's adding that wispiness. Love that already. Let's keep working our way around, kind of coming up into the bow zone. This is the filler, and it's more of a lavender color. It would be gorgeous if you wanted to mix it with um, like straight up lavender too. It would be gorgeous. We have notifications. We didn't send one out tonight, but you get on our text list. 832-734-5201 text us the word a VIP it'll send you the link um, notifications but if I go live late like this it's too late to send a text it would be uh, disrespectful to people who are like not doing race at night you know what I mean <laughs> but we will we'll be sending some this week to uh, everyone because we have got a lot going on okay that looks nice and woodsy let's work on the top now and really fill this part up that was the bottom I'm going to take a few more pieces here and you know I don't uh, like using a pick machine I don't teach to use that one I think they're kind of a waste of time and I have a 20 this is year 26 having my own business and doing this so I just there's some things I just eliminate it because I don't want to do them and there's a certain way I design because that's the way I like and uh, not that there's anything wrong with other people doing things those ways it's just the way I teach and do things is specific to what I enjoy. I'm basically, I guess, a sophomore in college. I don't think I was a freshman. I think it was my second year because my dad um, got laid off of his job and all of a sudden I had to meet my expenses for university that I had to come up with every month, which wasn't a whole lot, but it was about $300 a month. And I did my first little craft show. I worked the concession stand. I went to Houston, a Christian University here in Houston. It used to be Houston Baptist University. And um, I had to figure out a way, you know, like she's gonna make it on her own type thing. I had to figure it out because there was that or, or get a loan. And um, I was trying to figure it out, you know, on my own. So I did my first little craft show and y'all, I made 60 bucks. I kid you not. I made $60 at that craft show and I was hooked, totally hooked. Like they had me, they had me, they being the me. I loved making and selling things and it was just so exciting. So ever since then I started on my journey and got my uh, business license and did that while going to school, but I really never gave up doing craft shows when I was young and was able to buy my house when I was like 24 because um, I couldn't really move out to an apartment because you know this wreath and stuff takes up room doesn't it it takes up so much room <laughs> so I, I moved uh, out to the home the home we still live in today we've never moved from here I met honey bunny three years after or whatever however old I was and we never moved we're still here still here today in our same little happy home look how pretty guys that's how the journey began and I have never stopped since then this is so pretty so to start with okay now can you see here where we left the bow zone out right okay this looks super pretty but let's go ahead and get our bow made all right we're gonna shift gears to the bow I'm gonna put this one just off to the side just like that and then let me clean up just a little and let's get our bow maker out and we're gonna make our bow. We are not done with the wreath. We've still gotta put our butterflies in. 
and uh, a little bit of our darker pink twigs. But listen, if you don't you don't want to do the butterflies or whatever, look how pretty. Okay, you don't have to. So this doesn't look this good with that least of products if you don't use this in the background, okay? So let's start off with this one in the background. I am going to do long tails because I'm a big believer in long tails. The reason I like the long tails, I want it to be able to come below and come out of that greenery. So I'm going to go way down here to 20 inches. Okay, bring that to the center and twist it. Let's start with two, um, two loops at six and a half. I'm doing a little fold on the edge there. Okay, so our recipe so far is a 2-1. I'm gonna bring the cute little uh, floral to the foreground, because yes, we're gonna put it on the top of the bow. And I'm just gonna dovetail this. I, I folded over the other two tails, but I'm gonna dovetail this one. Let's put it in here. Awesome, twist it. And let's go with just a simple little four and a half little loop to finish out with a pretty floral. Yeah, so I love that plaid in there. And if you wanted um, more plaid and less of the floral, you're just gonna do the opposite. Start off with the, the plaid first and then use the pop of floral in the middle. Isn't it cool how the same couple of ribbons could do just infinite different combinations? It's so fun. You could also add a solid in there if you wanted to do more pink. Go to town. Okay, I'm gonna bring that up with the cable tie, add a little pressure here. And this is the part people kind of sometimes forget about, is you, you've gotta be careful right here. I have to fluff this before I make it tight because otherwise everything's gonna stay exactly where you're fluffing it. Look, look at all the depth in the, isn't that gorgeous? Are you kidding me? So stinking pretty. I love making it all just poofy like that. I'm gonna put the plaid in the middle, guys, to cover up the cable tie. Turned it off. I put the plaid down the middle. All right, really pretty bow. Now, let's go ahead and put this in before we move on to the next step of filling in with the other florals and our really cool butterfly. Okay, you can see how I brought that ribbon behind. I'm a big fan of that. Like take these ribbons and work them into the, to the floral. I just love how it brings the eye behind and it goes, oh, hey, look at the depth. And I'm also, every time you make a piece that has more depth and more dimension, if you're a seller, you're able to get a better price for it because it's just a little bit better design than your competition, if you know what I mean. I mean, it's just a little bit higher level when you focus on the depth. Look how pretty. Let me turn it this way. Oh my gosh. Y'all, it's so pretty. We're not done. But that is so pretty. Here's the tails. Let me bring this tail over. But this is kind of how it will look when it's hanging like this. Now. What we're going to do for the last step is we're going to work on putting the butterflies in this section and then adding that little touch of the twigs left. So bringing in this pink butterfly is going to really be great because because this, this ribbon is very busy and got a lot of pattern going on. So we can extend the eye with these butterflies. So either two or three cuts. We don't want a bunch of little cuts because then we use the length. We'll lose it without adding a bunch more steps back. Okay, so I'm going to take these off here. We worked with these in design school the other day, the yellow. So I'm going to take this and we're going to see how I'm kind of splitting the stem. I'm going to get access to this wire right here and get that out. Get that dude out of there. 
I just, I love these twigs. I'm here for them too today. All right, let's start off high up here in the wreath and we're gonna get right in here. So these are gonna create our line in our piece. So not only do you have filler flowers and main flowers, but you have a flower that creates this beautiful line. And that's what we're gonna do with these twigs. That's kind of a strategy I would teach in design school and teach you how to implement that into your pieces. That's what we're doing right here. Oh my gosh, yes. Beautiful. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Now let's have another little piece going out here. And that could be a, a shorter one with a little bit less going on. Let's use the one with the smaller. Oh, they have equal amounts. So I'll just go, tell you what. I'm going to cut this piece off here. So I still keep it long. And we're just going to use two right here. And I'm going to use two coming out of that section. Okay, I'm going to push this into the grapevine right here. You want to make sure you're going in and not all the way through the back. Bring those two up. That's perfect. Okay, now let's work below. This one's going to come right out of the center of the bow right here. So get to where you're in the center. And that'll help that butterfly line continue from up above. And we're going to manipulate those around. Beautiful. All right, and then we'll just continue with this one, leaving it nice and long at the bottom. So the butterflies are in, the berry picks are in, the beautiful bow is, name, uh, is in there, and then here come the twigs. So here is that, it's called hot pink, but it's really this, almost this exact purple that's in here. So now I'm gonna take these and cut these short, and we're gonna work in tight around the bow. We're not quite done yet. We're gonna merchandise, as I call it, around the bow. We want to get in here tight for the potty. And we want to make it feel layered. Remember I talked about that earlier, what we use in the back. We want to bring towards the front. That's what we're doing right now. Same process. I'm going to put that one in. Oh, yes. We've got two more. I'm going to cut these a little bit shorter. So you're always kind of having to adjust your stem as you're working on your piece. We're going to pop these in right here. One of the night, great things about being on the text list is no matter when you're watching a video, if it's the middle of the night, you can get a response. If it's, if it's you know, 4 a.m. and you're watching Kalee make things, you can get what you need right then, and you don't have to wait. You can get the links to your videos you want to enjoy. You can get the links to the kits. But you guys, everything I've been using tonight, we'll also have a supply list too that you can grab. But get on that text list because we own it, and... We don't own Facebook, we don't own any of this social media we're on, but it's 832-734-5201. You can also go to textkalee, T-E-X-T-K-E-L-E-A dot -E -E com. If you want to do it on the computer, you can do it that way too, and it will let you sign up. But it's been a while since I made a wreath flat on a table. I think I rocked it. I rocked it, I'm a little slower. But I rocked it, and it sure looks pretty on camera for you guys to see this up close. All right, Blue Marinos, I'm going to see you next time. Bye, everybody.